Good morning, classes, or good afternoon, or good evening, or whenever you're logging in. I just wanted to check in with you guys to let you know what is happening as we move forward. Uh, we are going to be, uh, the school system and, and this class, we are going to be online every day starting Monday, April 13th. Now, I've had the chance to do a lot of practice over these last few weeks, and, and some of you have been involved in that, and some of you have not been, and that's okay. Uh, but starting Monday, uh, you need to be in every day that you can be in, uh, if at all possible, because we are going to be moving forward with getting you through the information you need to have. So let me tell you the basics about the plan, what we know and what we don't know. Uh, we know that there's going to be an expectation of every teacher to provide you something every day uh, akin to what we would be doing in school. Um, it is, you know, obviously, we're going to change up a little bit because it's an online format, but I have every intention of teaching you these most important chapters that are left uh, and providing you the information and the access to me that you need to be successful in that moving forward. What we don't know, uh, as of this recording, which was Friday, uh, we were not 100% sure on what the district's plan was regarding if there was going to be a combo third or fourth quarter grade, if it was going to go third quarter, uh, just sort of end it where we left off and fourth quarter moving forward. Uh, I've heard a billion different plans. I'll just say right now, I'll be honest with you, we, we don't know. I suspect uh, that Dr. Sanders and the school board will be uh, sharing something with us soon. Uh, but I know to me, frankly, it, I just I move forward because I'm to teach you this material and how all that stuff plays out is uh, above me. And we are just going to move forward. Uh, as we can. And I've been toying with a lot. And I, again, I want to thank a lot of students who helped me not only in my classes, uh, particularly my honors class, but some non-honors too, uh, but in my Take 10 with how to format tests, how to do worksheets, um, interactive activities. This is going to open up some different opportunities for us. Um, so let me tell you what units are out and what units are in. Because the state has made it clear that there will not be an air test for you this year, Again, I don't know if you have to make that up in the future or if you're just exempt forever. I, it's one of those things I don't know. But because we don't have that test this year, we're cutting out the two and a half weeks of review we would be doing for the air test. We are also cutting out the three-quarter review exam. So uh, you may have been on my uh, Google site, which sort of houses some of the videos or at least gives you access to where these YouTube videos are. It also houses some interesting links, and it also on there is a three-quarter review guide. It's great for review, but there will not be a three-quarter review exam test. So that buys us three and a half weeks. By cutting out the air and that three-quarter review test, we just bought ourselves three and a half weeks. So what's in? Well, we have the freedom to sort of teach now a little bit more open what we would want to teach but honestly, I'm going to teach exactly what I wanted to teach, uh, what we were going to teach, because the next two units are some of the most important units that we have. The Constitution and the Civil Rights units, in my opinion, are not only the most relevant to my students, uh, they're the most interesting, probably because those two are related, relevant and interesting often go together. So we are going to move forward with the Civil Rights unit. So starting on Monday, I will post a daily lesson my intent, unless I'm told otherwise, will be to give you basically a class period's worth of work and information. Now, in my mind, <clears throat> that would be a class period together. So in other words, I might post a 25-minute lecture and a 15-minute assignment or a little bit longer of a lecture and no assignment that day. But I may hear otherwise, but that's sort of my plan right now. And we will start with day one of the Civil Rights Movement on Monday, and I'll post something every day just like we would in class. So that civil rights unit, it's a combo unit called 10 and 11. Unit 10 is going to be all about African-American civil rights. It's more of what you're, uh, you've traditionally thought of in terms of civil rights. Rosa Parks, Dr. King, Malcolm X, Stokely Carmichael, a lot of things that you may be familiar with, and, and hopefully a lot of things that are going to add to your knowledge of that. And then unit 11 is probably some civil rights you're not used to, it's essentially all of these other groups, including women, Hispanic Americans, Native Americans, young people, who then realize the tremendous progress African Americans made using certain uh, strategies and techniques, and then 
borrow slash steal those techniques from African Americans and then apply them to their situation. So 11 is also about civil rights, but it's essentially a lot of other groups. And obviously there's some crossover there because, for example, if you're a woman, you can be in the women's rights movement and the African American civil rights movement at the same time. So we're going to start that unit. It's a very interesting unit, in my opinion. Um, and we're going to have lectures that you'll see kind of like this, except you'll be able to see the notes, um, kind of like, quote unquote, ghost Penrose would be. Um, and then we even have a format to do, again, some activities and tests. And there'll be some videos, too, uh, some reenactments that we need to do regarding, for example, JFK's assassination. That will have to be a more traditional video. So. That will be the big unit we're doing uh, moving forward. We're also going to, in all likelihood, not 100% on this, because that civil rights unit's gonna take a while. We'll also be doing a, in all likelihood, a PBL, where you'll get the opportunity to write a law. And in that one, I, I believe, I think we'll have the capability to even have uh, partners on that because it really works better that way. So that's sort of the big plan. Uh, underneath this posting, this video, on your Google Classroom site, you should see a series of important links to uh, how to do your makeup document of the week, um, how to do an assignment in general, where are my YouTube pages. There's just going to be some links under there. Uh, also, wanted to let you know that every teacher is going to have office hours. Uh, different teachers took this different ways. I'm going to have office hours every day from 10 to 1030. Uh, but I, what I'd like to do in general is on Mondays, it would be for first period, Tuesdays for third, Wednesdays for fourth, Thursdays for sixth, and Fridays for seventh from 10 to 1030. And that's going to be a time where I'll be on your page and you can ask live questions or I'll set up a Google Meet or something along those lines. Um, anything in order for you to be able to reach me. <clears throat> that's not going to be the only time I'm going to be able to be reached. You guys know I'm a history nerd. You know I'm going to be on here all the time trying to make things a little bit better, a little bit more interesting. So you reach out to me during sort of quote unquote normal business hours, aka not two in the morning, and I'm probably going to be able to get back to you pretty quickly. But if all else fails, we'll have those office hours between 10 and 1030, first on Monday, third on Tuesday, and so forth, that you can get a hold of me. So this is just a touch base to let you know. I will do a quick reminder of all of this on Monday, but basically Monday is going to be notes and vocab and you know, the start of a traditional chapter. If you haven't seen uh, your test results, uh, I'm sure you can look on progress book, but also you scroll down a little bit. There's a video reviewing your test results for honors. There's a video reviewing your essay results. These are some of the things I did to practice putting things on. So be ready on Monday, have some paper out. Uh, no one's going to be there to make sure you take notes, but I will tell you, you're much more likely to remember the material if you take the notes yourself. Uh, there will be a test. So I look forward to getting back to learning a little bit of history on Monday, and we will start with day one of the civil rights movement. Stay safe out there.